the world under the water is a strange and terrifying place. There are all manner of horrifying things loitering under there, almost alien-like, and some of them are truly profoundly monstrous. These are dangerous fish you should swim away from. Number 15. Piranha the red-bellied piranha is one of the world's most well-known and fearsome fish. Early European expeditions reported a small fish with razor-sharp teeth, and that a school of them were capable of stripping a cow to the bone in minutes, so the legendary piranha became part of modern folklore. The piranha is a scavenger that loves to nibble pieces off the tails of much larger fish, which is pretty gnarly. The piranha generally swims in a school of approximately 20 fish, each of which is around 12 inches long long and weighs about 4 pounds. The strong muscles that move the small jaw with the distinctive overbite and razor-sharp triangular teeth are visible beneath the high forehead. They interlock easily with the top set due to their triangular shape. This enables the piranha to deliver incredibly strong bites, as well as its well-known ability to shred flesh. In terms of body size, this bite is one of the most powerful of any vertebrate. Human attacks are prevalent and warning signs are placed in areas where piranhas are known to swim. The majority of incidents result in minor to moderate injuries. Although youngsters are vulnerable and deaths have occurred, notably the death of an 18-year-old male in Brazil in 2011, it remains to be determined if the legends of a red-bellied piranha being able to skeletonize a person or cow's corpse in seconds are accurate or not. Whatever the case may be, these are very dangerous fish. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Stargazer. An ambitious predator fish, the white margin stargazer, lurks in sandy and silty reef regions of the Pacific, waiting for victims. This strange-looking fish has been dubbed the meanest thing in all creation. This is because stargazers can not only deliver electric shocks to their victims, but they also have a lengthy venomous spine on their backs, resulting in a type of double assault that leaves prey defenseless and makes attackers think twice about attempting to snack on a stargazer. The electric charge is supplied through a pouch behind the eyes and may carry up to 50 volts depending on water conditions and the spines can lead to serious pain. Aside from that, these little creatures are masters of concealment. They are sand-colored and will bury themselves to the point where the two large eyes on the top of their heads protrude. The term stargazer comes from this fish's habit of continually staring up. Extra concealment is provided by fleshy lumps around the mouth, which also allow the stargazer to breathe while buried. Finally, the stargazer possesses a worm-like second tongue that acts as a lure to pull passing fish within range of its mouth. All in all, a very well-equipped fish. Number 13. The Flamboyant Cuttlefish the flamboyant cuttlefish is the only lethal cuttlefish that has been discovered in the ocean. This cuttlefish is like an angry Lady Gaga, a brilliantly colored entertainer who can turn poisonous when it wants to. Any predator foolish enough to try to eat it will be killed by its toxic flesh. The colors act as a warning, similar to the blue-ringed octopus and other small, bright-colored and deadly critters. Don't meddle with this rainbow-loving cuttlefish. Cuttlefish have eight legs and two tentacles, which they utilize to reach out and grasp their meal. They get their name from the cuddle bone, a hollow portion of their body that they can fill with gas to vary their buoyancy. They also use their legs to stroll across the ocean floor rather than swimming. And while having a brown base color, they employ their flashing brilliant colors to warn predators to keep away. The effect is created via chromatophores, which are pigment cells that change the color of the skin. And like one of Elton John's great costumes, this is also utilized as a type of mating ritual. Number 12. Titan Triggerfish 
Through most of the Indo-Pacific, the Titan triggerfish may be found in lagoons and reefs at depths of 160 feet. Due to its striking similarity to Ron Swanson, it is also known as the Moustache triggerfish. Aside from their masculine mustaches, they're known for being tough guys who lack nothing more than a good fist fight in the Russell Crowe school of punch first, ask questions later. Especially the females. This is one of the most violent fish in the water, and females Females will fight anything that comes near their nest during reproductive season, even human divers. Even though these fish are not venomous, they can deliver a vicious bite, and their powerful and sharp teeth have been known to cause significant injuries. They may be attractive to the eye, but divers from Thailand to Australia know to stay clear of these ferocious animals who can attack even if not provoked and can bite through fins and wetsuits. Someone should make a cup of soothing lemon water for the triggerfish, as well as a packet of chill pills. Number 11. Crown of Thorn Starfish the theatrical name of the Crown of Thorns starfish comes from its similarity to the crown of thorns that Jesus had to wear before being crucified. To put it mildly, that was a painful process, and he had to do it with a starfish on his head. It's possible that things might have gone more smoothly if he'd just worn a normal starfish crown instead of one of these psychopathic little star dudes. Anyway, this starfish is one of the world's largest, and it can be found across the Indo-Pacific, but particularly in the waters near Australia. Coral reefs are its preferred habitat. Saponin is a molecule produced by starfish tissues that produces a variety of compounds. If you put one of these starfish in a bowl of water, it will froth up like crazy. The tissues of the crown of thorn starfish contain venom, and when a human or an unwitting creature comes into contact with the starfish, the spines can embed in the skin, causing severe stinging pain and nausea almost instantly. So if you're reenacting the crucifixion for whatever occasion, you should definitely avoid wearing one of these on your head. Ouchie. Number 10. Lionfish. The lionfish is a kind of scorpion fish, and it's a very vicious one. It is a thing to behold, with its ominous coloration of red, white, and black stripes over its body, as well as an abundance of very toxic needles emanating from it. The lionfish is a fearsome combatant, and an excellent predator with a thirst for blood of anything little enough to fit through its teeth. Despite the fact that sharks and gigantic sea worms have been spotted attacking this fish version of an attack sub marine, they have no natural predators. Lionfish populations are largely maintained under control in their natural habitat, the reefs, corals, and lagoons of the South Pacific and Indian Oceans. The arrival of Hurricane Andrew, on the other hand, caused devastation on the Florida coast in 1992, destroying an aquarium among other things. Six lionfish were discharged into the Caribbean. As a result of this, they have swiftly established themselves as one of the most dangerous invasive species, aggressively preying on unsuspecting indigenous species and growing to far larger sizes than previously recorded. They've already spread throughout the western Atlantic, wreaking havoc in their wake, and conservationists are attempting to stop the unstoppable lionfish from expanding farther. Number 9. Candiru The tales of the Candiru fish stand out among the countless stories of weird, frightening monsters that inhabit the Amazon River. The Candiru fish, Vandelia cirrhosa, is a tiny catfish that is said to go into the, uh, Hem, personal orifices of those who pee in the Amazon rivers. According to legend, the fish confuses human urine with water ejected from other fish's gills. The candiru swims up into the genitals of the unfortunate individual, much to their chagrin. It is quite tough to remove due to the spines on its head. Genital amputation is often the only way to save a person's life. Okay, how many of you just crossed your legs a little bit? Drop us a comment! 
that is what the Kandiru is said to be capable of, according to folklore. In truth, considerable investigation has revealed that most of this mythology is likely a fabrication. To begin with, the Kandiru recognizes fish gills by sight rather than smell. It's also difficult for them to swim up a stream of pee due to fluid dynamics. Amputations in certain locations were also most likely caused by piranha bites. Finally, the only recorded, modern example of a Kandiru allegedly swimming into a man's urethra is considered a possible hoax. But still, do ya really want to try it? Number 8. Stingray we were all devastated when we found out in 2006 that Steve Irwin, an internationally beloved television personality, had gone before his time at the age of 44. For a man who had spent his whole life hanging out with some of the world's most fearsome animals, the news that he had been killed by a stingray was even more shocking. The majority of the time, stingrays are believed to be harmless. Since 1945, just two people have died from stingray stings in Australian waters. One of them was Irwin. They were unfortunate both times, as the stinging barb hit them in the torso, delivering the venom straight to their hearts. However, it only goes to show that the fish we love to swim with may be hazardous under given conditions. The venom does have an anesthetic effect. The ancient Greek doctors used it as an anesthetic for dental surgery patients, which is pretty cool. Just don't try and perform any home dentistry with a live stingray. That is going to end badly, I would say. Number 7. Stonefish The stonefish holds the title of being the world's most toxic fish. With venom sacs in each of its spines that release venom when activated by any type of pressure exerted on its body. You can easily fail to spot this fish, since it appears just like a regular stone, or with pink specks to make it look like coral. In Australia, beaches have vinegar supplies, so if someone steps on a stonefish unintentionally, it is less traumatic, as the vinegar seems to relieve the pain. And it is known for delivering some serious, serious pain. While this is true, it is nonetheless possible to cook a stonefish's food, since a large percentage of the fish is safe to eat and rather delicious once the dangerous spines have been removed. Sashimi stonefish is quite popular in Asia. Other unique characteristics of the stonefish include its capacity to be out of the water for more than 24 hours, something no other fish can do. However, before picking up or walking on a funny-looking rock, just make sure it's not one of these hellish fish. Number 5. Striped Surgeonfish We've progressed from dentistry to surgery now that we've met the striped surgeon fish. These brightly colored creatures dwell in the Indian and Western Pacific Oceans and are approximately a foot long. In the waters of Japan, the Philippines, Polynesia, and Hawaii, they are particularly well known. They may be found in the Great Barrier Reef, where they like to stay toward the bottom. This means that the majority of the living things above them are a source of concern, because in the ocean, everything is virtually always attempting to devour everything else. And if you're on the bottom, there's often no place to go. The striped surgeon fish, on the other hand, has a slew of razor-sharp spines on its back, much like a surgeon's knife, which means these guys have plenty of defenses. Even more bizarre, these spines are poisonous as well. It will slice you up while also envenomating you. Because it's such a badass fish, the people of American Samoa prize it for decorative purposes, which is definitely an intimidating way of welcoming people to your home. Number 4. Goonch Catfish The enormous devil catfish is another name for the goonch catfish, which I think is a pretty fantastic name. This is a massive catfish that may be found in rivers across the Indian subcontinent, fast-flowing rivers with deep pools, such as those found in the Indus and Ganges basins, as well as most of southern India east of the Western Ghats, are ideal for it. It used to dwell in Southeast Asian rivers, but it is now extinct there. It may reach a length of 6 foot 6 and a weight of 200 pounds, making it one of the genus's biggest species. 
The Goonge catfish is plentiful, however its numbers are falling as a result of dam construction and hydropower facilities, which are damaging river habitats. This is a fish with a terrible reputation in India, where it is known as the Bastar shark. It is also the species responsible for the Kali River Goonge assaults, which occurred between 1998 and 2007 and were a series of attacks by man-eating Goonge catfish. Number 3. Electric Eel Electric eels are among the world's strangest fish, and they're not actually eels, but rather a type of knife fish. Despite their resemblance to eels, which explains the misunderstanding, there are 500 kinds of fish known to be capable of producing electricity, but none of them are as powerful as this South American behemoth. They have to emerge every 10 minutes to breathe air, since they reside in shallow, murky water. They may reach a length of 8 feet and weigh approximately 45 pounds, and they come in a variety of colors including white, black, blue, purple, and gray. Electric eels have 6,000 cells in their bodies that create electric charge, and they can deliver a shock of up to 600 volts, which is five times more powerful than a normal US wall outlet. This is enough power to knock a horse down and, of course, to kill a person. There aren't many creatures that desire to fight one of them, and they've been witnessed taking down caiman and other large predators with a single huge shock. This is a real monster. Electric eel attacks on humans are exceedingly rare. Multiple shocks, on the other hand, can induce respiratory or cardiac arrest, and people have been known to drown in shallow water after receiving a powerful jolt. Number 2. Barracuda the Great Barracuda, sometimes known as the Giant Barracuda, is a huge predatory ray finned fish that may be found in subtropical waters all over the world. Barracudas are scavengers who may mistake snorkelers for predators and pursue them in the hopes of devouring their prey's leftovers. Barracuda bites have been recorded on swimmers, however such events are uncommon and may be due to low visibility. Barracudas may confuse glinting and shining items for prey, Human attacks by barracudas are uncommon, however bites can cause lacerations and tissue damage. Because of the tremendous struggle they put up when hooked, they are a popular recreational fishing target. They are, however, renowned for the strong stench they emit when caught, and their meat has the potential to cause ciguatera fish poisoning if consumed. The Great Barracuda may be found in tropical to warm temperate seas in the Indian, Pacific, and Atlantic Oceans, from mangrove regions to deep reefs, with a maximum depth of 110 meters. In Florida, they are said to be decreasing in number, and the state's Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission is contemplating setting fishing limits. Barracudas are elongated fish with strong jaws in general. The big mouth's lower jaw protrudes beyond the upper. Barracudas have powerful fang-like teeth that are placed in sockets in the jaws and on the roof of the mouth and are uneven in size. The head is big, pointed, and has a pike-like look, so these fish certainly have a terrifying look. Number 1. Hawaiian Boxfish Half fish, part aquatic helicopter, the Hawaiian boxfish is a really odd species. Males are vivid blue, white, and gold, and this fish, like a helicopter, can hover off the bottom, going forwards, backwards, up, down, left, right, and makes a complete rotation. They look like a wireless undersea drone and are absolutely awesome to watch. Female Hawaiian boxfish do not resemble males in appearance. They're a dull brown color with white spots on them. The fact that this shallow water reef fish is as hard as a boxfish is equally astonishing. Because of their rigid bodies, most fish find them difficult to swallow. It'd be like attempting to chew through a huge box, in fact. The eyes, fins, and small mouth are the only parts of the boxfish that move. These six-inch long fish are frequently observed by snorkelers in shallow water, Close to the beach. They feed on algae that has formed on the rocks, and the males are aggressive. 
box fish come in a variety of shapes and sizes. The hexagonal or honeycomb markings on their skin distinguish members of this family which come in a range of hues. They swim like they're rowing. The fins, tail, eyes, and mouth protrude from the carapace, which is made up of hexagonal plate-like scales fused together into a solid, triangular, or box-like structure. Various species of this family can release cationic surfactants via their skin as a chemical defense strategy. Pahutoxin, a water-soluble crystalline chemical toxin found in the mucus, released from the skin of Ostracian lentigenesis, and other trunk fish species when they are stressed is one example. Example. Pahutoxin is a 3-acetoxy palmitic acid choline chloride ester that acts similarly to steroidal saponins found in echinoderms. When the fish's poisonous mucus is discharged into the environment, it degrades swiftly and has a detrimental impact on the nearby fish. Because this toxin is so similar to some detergents, it's plausible that introducing these detergents as pollutants to seawater might disrupt receptor-mediated processes in marine life. So if you see one, start swimming like a helicopter and get out of there. Which of these dangerous fish have you ever seen? Can you swim fast enough to escape them? Let us know in the comments below. Also check out our other really cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.